Hey everybody, welcome back to Beer Tips. This is Dan, and I've got two American Wheats for you with an American Wheat mini-series in honor of June, because in the summertime it is hot and I need something refreshing. So I've got Flying Dog, Chesapeake Wheat, and I've got Bell's Oberon. My prediction, if we compare these, is, well, I love Flying Dog, but Bell's Oberon is most likely going to blow it out of the water. We'll see. We'll see. I could be completely wrong. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's do it. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. So um, we're going to start with Flying Dog, Chesapeake Wheat. And before I open it, I'm going to go ahead and read their description to you. Um, I'm going to read it right off the beer because they do a good job of just slapping that right on their label. For 10 years, Flying Dog and the Oyster Recovery Partnership have worked together to keep Chesapeake Bay ecosystem healthy and thriving, adding millions of baby oysters back into the bay to help filter impurities from the water. More oysters leads to more crabs, more finish, more fish, and more day drinking on jet skis. So crack open this beer, pat yourself on the back for every Chesapeake wheat you drink. You're adding 10 little five valves back into the bay. Okay, so uh, you're doing a public service by drinking... The Chesapeake Wheat, they don't really give a description of what the beer is, but as long as I'm doing a public service, hey, there we go. It's all about the public service when you're drinking beer. Let's do this. All right. So, <clears throat> here's the look. Okay. It is a mildly hazy beer from the look. Um, you know... I tend to be like very, very partial to Flying Dog. I've had great experiences with Flying Dog. I've had very little from them that I've been like, oh, no, can't drink that again. Not happening. Um, I, I can't even think of anything off the top of my head um, where I've had that experience with Flying Dog. It's also relatively local. They're out of Frederick, um, Frederick, Maryland, which is near where I live. So I tend to be partial to them, especially some of these local craft breweries. So let's give them a shot. Although Flying Dog, to be honest... Um, they are um, kind of, they have a large, large, large manufacturing and distribution um, element going on that makes them a little bit more than like craft brew, if you want to be honest about it. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Let's do this. Oh, yes. It's nice. It's nice. Like peaches <laughs> and like sweet tropical fruits. Whew. Like peaches, maybe a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of like citrusy grapefruit in there as well. But like I'm loving like the 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 peaches in there. That's that's nice. Like um, a little bit of peach cobbler in the nose. Yeah, um, you know a slight bit of bread. Um, but I'm thinking this. I'm predicting this is going to be on the on the sweeter side. Let's do it. Actually, it's dry, it's bready, um, and the finish has sort of, you know, um, that light, bright tropical fruit and, um, you know, summer fruit like peaches on the back end, like peaches and nectarines. A little bit of like maybe guava and papaya. But yes, this is um, and this is a really, really smooth beer. I love it. Um, I'm going to see if it holds up to the Bell's Oberon. I've had, you know, full disclosure, I've had both these beers in the past. It's been a while. Um, it takes me a while to kind of like figure out, you know, whether I liked it or not. And maybe my, you know, maybe my taste buds have changed. I'm finding that with beer in general that um, sometimes it's different according to like when I try it. Um, what I'm eating, you know, what I'm um, eating with it, um, when I'm drinking it, like what time of year, and even like what batch I'm drinking, um, you know, and did I let it sit too long in my fridge or, you know, um, did I sell it when I wasn't supposed to do that? But the bottom line is, this is a good beer. I'll take it on and buy it. Uh, kudos to Flying Dog, and let's see how it measures up. At Bell's Here Oberon. is the Bell's Oberon, and Bell's is from Michigan and they give their description right on the label as well I love it uh, makes it a lot easier for me to kind of read to you and 
um, <laughs> give you their little uh, marketing bit. Um, sometimes I love reading these because sometimes they're very accurate as far as like where the beer is coming from. Um, with the aroma and the taste and the mouthfeel and the body, but sometimes it's kind of off. Um, but Bell's Oberon um, is an American wheat ale with a spicy hop character, mildly fruity aromas, aromas, and the color and scent of a sunny afternoon. Oberon is made with just malt, hops, Bell Signature House ale yeast, and water. The result is medium body and full flavor, making it the perfect beer for warm weather. And yeah, I kind of feel that way about American meats in general. Um, this will be interesting. All right, let's see where this goes. So, um, Bell's Oberon. I noticed some sediment at uh, the bottom of the bottle. Um, I'm not sure if that's like from the yeast. Um, possibly is, but uh, I don't think it's going to harm anybody. Uh, I didn't see that when I was drinking it on tap years ago in Fort Lauderdale, um, but that was actually part of the reason I bought this beer is that it brought me back to um, my time in Fort Lauderdale. Um, shortly after my wife and I got married, we took a cruise. Before we took a cruise, we went out um, in uh, Fort Lauderdale, and it was a great night. Met up with some friends, uh, had some good beers, some good times. Um, and just kind of took me back to that. So without further ado, I like it. I like it. It's, uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely smelling that spice. Um, there's, there's like, it's, it's herbal and spicy up front. It's, uh, maybe a little bit of like orange and lemon zest, but um, it's, it's definitely like, it's definitely more spicy than anything else on, at least on the nose. And that spice is going to come in on the finish. It's a really, really nice kick too. Um, like some beers have a, have a nice, like bitter dry kick at the end. Like, um, you know, those great IPAs, but this beer has got, like a spicy finish so it's got a like you know dr simple dry um bready mouth feel um and sort of biscuity taste up front and then you get that spice on the back end and like light 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 um you know bright summer fruits and citrusy fruits uh it's not it is not a fruity beer neither beer was really fruity um this this is a tough one for me to kind of rate these. Um, if I pull in like Oberon versus, uh, you know, uh, Flying Dog, Chesapeake Wheat, they're very, very different beers. Um, Chesapeake Wheat also was 5% um, alcohol by volume. Um, Bell's Oberon is, uh, I think, 5.8% alcohol by volume. That's what it says here. Yeah, 5.8. So it's closer to 6%. Um, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit more potent. This is really a tough one for me. Um, I love them both. Um, I think it's a tie. Um, I think Bell's Oberon is, I think if you're aiming for something, you know, that's a little bit more, um, you know, emphasizes the, the, the fruit accents of the beer, especially in the aroma and the nose, um, and less the biscuity spiciness, that's going to be uh, chest beak. But I think if you're looking for something um, that's, you know, um, more bready, you know, uh, biscuity, um, definitely drier. Um, and it's going to have like a, you know, kind of a, a strong spice finish that, that spice is going to, is going to kick in at the end. Um, and if you're not into that, you know, if you don't like your, um, you know, your herbs and your spices, that might be a little bit cloying for you and a bit of a put off. Um, I love them both. Um, I'm kind of an adventurous drinker that way, so I can recommend them both, and I can recommend them both equally. I'm sorry, I can't rate them one over the other this time, um, but it's been a pleasure um, sharing this with you guys, and uh, until the next series. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.